Hello everyone! Six months ago we gave you a first glimpse of what your email templates and invoice editors will look like. Since then both editors have been rebuilt, improved and extended. And today we are happy to present you the fresh and new email templates editor. Let's begin! So, before we proceed, let's go through the key features of a new editor. Notification tabs. All notifications are now gathered in one place. Full add-on support. Add-ons can now add new notifications and snippets. Easy notification editing. Coding skills are not required. Just enter the data manually or use variables and snippets. Preview. Preview and test email features. Code snippets. Code snippets are used to speed up the editing process. Notification style. The style of notifications now match the style of your store. Backward compatibility. The editor supports all templates starting from version 4.0.1. The import export feature. Import new and export old notifications with just a few clicks. Now let's turn to the detailed overview of the new features. To enable the new editor, go to Settings – Appearance. At the bottom of the page, find the Email Templates Mode setting and choose New. After that, the editor will become available at Design – Email Templates. Here, three tabs are available – the Customer Notifications tab, the Administrator Notifications tab and the Code Snippets tab. All default store notifications are gathered on the first two tabs. To edit the desired notification, just click on its title or use the gear button and click Edit. Also, you can disable notifications, just choose Disabled at the right side of the notification title. You can edit the subject and the body of the notification. To make edits, use variables and snippets located on the left. Just click the variable and it will be automatically added to the desired place on the template. Variables use the data from the store to substitute correct values. While editing, click the use default value link to return everything to its initial state. To check the result, click the gear button and choose preview. The gear button is also used to send test emails. Test emails are sent to the email of a locked in administrator. Note that due to the lack of context, test emails may differ from emails sent to customers and administrators. The third tab contains code snippets. Code snippets are used to represent common elements of notifications, such as headers and footers. On this tab, you can create, delete, and edit snippets. Also, snippets use styles of a currently applied theme. For example, if we take our default theme called Responsive and change its style from Modern to Facebook, the style of snippets will change accordingly. And last but not least is the backward compatibility. The new editor supports all templates starting from version 4.0.1. The old templates can be found at Design – Templates. That's it for today, we would be very happy to hear your opinions on the new features and suggestions for improving them. Please do consider testing the editor on our demo website and leave your feedback at our forum. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD videos.